Okay folks, this is the lambing shed I was telling you about oh, You can hear me very well with this generator going but you need that for the vision, I'll show you a bit of what's happened and um, I haven't seen any births yet or heard any but there's some things happening which I can tell you about there's about 90 sheep in here they're in three separate pens I usually keep them as small apart as pens as possible because they miss mother and one sheep will take another one's lambs and when you come down in the morning you don't know whose is what so we split them into smallest groups as we can ten have lambed, we've had 18 lambs and there's a couple of things here you might be interested in two pens here have a connection the one on the left is in what's called an adopter crate and uh, the one next door is connected to it. In this uh, first pen here we had a she had a single lamb and the one next to her had three lambs. So what we did is we put them in this little like a stocks for a few days and we put the one lamb from the other one onto this one so they've both got two lambs and um, they usually do take to after a few days. Not very good I haven't got a light on them but there they are two of them two brothers now. I think she'll wear them well. It's always much better than having them as a Meg. Much much better. There's the triplets. Two of them. Two little girls. Next line up here is they'll be going to the flock for next year. Hopefully the, the twin gene pool will move forward and they'll have pink twins of their own. They are cute aren't they? Even after all my years of lambing sheep and being with them. It still gets me a buzz. And these are the other two pair that lambed about an hour ago or two hours ago tonight. So we're leaving them in tonight. I know they're supposed to be hardy but to be honest there's hardy in stupidity I think. And the boy at the back there is the granddaddy of them all. He's the Xlana, the big beard under his chin. He's done a good job. So far anyway. So there you are folks. I'm going to tell you I've gone off to check the sheep. I really have. And it is a vicious night out there. You have to feel sorry for the farmers who don't have this type of shelter. There'll be lots of losses tonight, I'm afraid. And you can't be everywhere. You cannot be everywhere. I'm just hoping the ones that land the last couple of days are okay. They're in a sheltered field to check them in the morning. Hopefully they'll have survived the night, there is a bit of shelter there for them. These girls look quite happy. The ones with horns by the way are Wiltshire Horn. I might have said it a few times but I never shear these sheep. They shear themselves as they say. <laughs>